Ever since World War I came to the Tabs nations, they replicated the battles. The early war was mobile, with sides moving very rapidly and progression being quick. However, now, the Blues have discovered the power of the trench defense, and the Red Germans must assault with all their might. Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here playing some more totally accurate battle simulator And today we have the Doughboys, the American Doughboys over here defending in the trenches versus the Germans here Of course that intro is a little bit false because the Americans uh, weren't really involved in the in the mid more war They were mainly in the late war, but uh, it's tabs. It's it's of course totally accurate So uh, we're being accurate here naturally <laughs> So we have defending World War one American soldiers here using these uh, brick fences as quote-unquote trenches which I think is pretty fun and we have attacking World War one Germans here I made this battle myself I thought it was kind of cool and clever so if you guys want me to upload it to the workshop I can do that uh, if you'd like to see it uh, in there let me know in the comment section below but beyond that I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked the video it helps me out a ton subscribe if you haven't already we're trying to hit 250k by the end of the year and comment down below what other tabs battles you would like to see in this game also big thank you to my patrons those of you who support me on patreon make this channel happen especially big shout out to JTB 504 for this video uh, and uh, if you want to become a patreon member links in the description below either way let's get it going boys all right guys i put some banner bears on the field for the americans let's get it going here big shots coming in from the germans i'd like to watch these boys up here uh these guys have muskets of course they're quote unquote springfield rifles uh we're gonna have to use our imagination a little bit here because uh uh, obviously, they're not really Springfield rifles. There's just no Springfield in this game, so uh, <laughs> we're using muskets. The Americans are a little dated when it comes to technology, clearly. But they've also got some M1911 pistolers and, of course, some shotgunners. The shotgunners took a bit more of a forward position on the battlefield, while the pistolers were sort of in the back as if they were officers. And then, of course, the riflemen were in the front behind the trenches. As for the Germans, they seem to be coming up slowly. They're not really getting the uh the whole idea of a no man's land charge here they're sort of standing still maybe we need to do the attack banners in the next battle oh what a snipe with the car 98k baby yeah at least the germans have uh error er, not error era accurate weapons here with the car 98k these these guns are dope as heck man such an iconic weapon to be honest featured in so many different video games it's it's really a remarkable gun that has has proven the test of time. Either way, the Americans, you know, the protection of the trenches is actually helping them quite a bit. However, the banner bearers that were a little bit farther back did end up getting shot for the most part. So it's leading to some of the Americans actually leaving the safety of their trenches. Look at this funky long neck boy. Long neck. They call me long neck because my long neck. Um, either way, the Germans get clapped pretty easily there. Let's try turning it up a notch and giving the Germans uh, charge banners and maybe that will turn that loss into victoire. All right, let's give it a try. Oh my god, look at these two couple of bozos over here. A couple of bozos. <laughs> They're just in a constant HE double hockey sticks of, of falling over and over again into this wheel. Oh my god, the, the pain, the torture. Oh, this is just a horrible life to live, isn't it, boys? <laughs> this is terrible. Then you got this jabroni over here who's just constantly being dragged by the, uh, <laughs> by the water. Look, his, his, his head is all the way down here while his shoulders are all the way up here. Th these poor Germans, dude. This guy's just stuck in a wall. His head is clipped into- What happened here? Oh, my lord. 
All right, enough shenanigans. We're pressing start right now. We got banner bears in here. I also increased the number of Germans. I thought the car 98K was significantly more powerful than the Springfield. However, in the last battle, the, the car 98K did so poorly that I thought I'd give the... Um, the Germans just a few more of them on the battle as well uh, okay so the Americans are definitely losing more soldiers in their trenches they're still staying alive out there and they're also uh, managing to get plenty of kills the car 98k I believe the weapon is still on targeting melee units instead of ranged units so it's currently not really charging all that much a few of them are charging actually but not many of them in the back are charging so it's like the lighter weapons like the uh, bombardiers as well as the uh, pistol troopers are charging while the car 98k sort of plays a backup plan in the back as uh, as sharpshooters which honestly is probably the best of both worlds that is like the best case scenario for the germans because uh you know they they get to both snipe and charge simultaneously as like a distraction and a uh pressure point sort of a thing i think that's actually brilliant and you can see a lot of the bullets you know these trenches are very effective because a lot of the bullets are hitting the trench it's not bad however the germans are just overpowering the americans at this point and managing to get the little dub ski right there where are the rest of the americans though well, there's clearly someone left alive they're shooting over here where's the last american all the germans are like crowding around this area oh what was he oh was he floating through Oh, there he was. He was stuck under the bridge. That's why they were all freaking out. <laughs> all right, Germans win this round. I think we should flip this on its head and have the Germans defend in the trenches this time and have the Americans attack. Let's check it out. Right then, gamers, we got the Americans attacking. We're doing the same thing as last time. No banners to start, and then we're going to add banners. Let's see how the attacking American soldiers end up doing here, baby. All right, Grenadiers for the Germans getting their loads off before getting shot to death. Most of them getting shot to death at the very least. Front lines of Americans going down pretty rapidly right there. Not doing too hot. Lots of pistolers in the front lines now. They are speedier. Then, of course, the Springfield Troopers, so they're gonna climb their way to the front rather rapidly, and, um, I think all the shotgunners already died, to be honest. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, oh, no, there's a couple shotgunners left alive in here. I think most of them are also in the front lines, while the, uh, riflemen, of course, tend to stay in the back. Let's check out some of the trench warfare right now. These boys chilling, and really, these trenches do a Gosh dang good job of absorbing some of those bullets straight up most of them end up impacting with the trench instead of going into the enemy soldiers of course uh, you know it's not necessarily a rule but uh, it, it does happen quite frequently I also like the banner guys up here it'd be really cool to do like a um, a sniper versus like like a super god sniper versus like a hundred soldiers all encroaching on this balcony you know, kind of a la Saving Private Ryan style with the, with the, with that, what is it, a church? Church bell area or something along those lines? Or in, uh, Inglorious, uh, B words, because this is a family friendly channel, the Quentin Tarantino movie, where the, the sniper in the, um, the movie that was shown in the movie is like killing like 600 Americans or something like that. Crazy movie. I love that movie. Either way, the, uh, Americans end up actually. Oh, wait. These are the Germans. <laughs> the Germans actually lose there to the Americans. Not by too much, though. I am going to give the Americans the charge banners, and then I'm also going to, I think, increase the number of Germans by a little bit. All right, let's be back in a second. Okay, banner bearers have been called upon. They are ready to begin this mass assault. It should be pretty extreme. Let's get it going here, fellas. All right, we got the initial bombardment. Uh, no man's land getting torn up. Here comes the grenadier bombs here. The Germans did get some reinforcements for this, just a smidge because the Americans won last time and they're getting banner bears. So I feel like I needed to give the Germans a little something something for their trench line. So uh, they did get more bombardiers as well as uh, some more pistol troopers, which should help them out a little bit. All right, here's the, uh, the 
the no man's land charge here, mostly shotgunners and pistol troopers heading on in, and of course the the banner bearers themselves too, yeeting to the very front because I think they are the fastest unit. Meanwhile, the riflemen do tend to sort of stay behind while everyone else charges, so it's not the worst thing ever. These guys are holding their M1911s like absolute G's popping from the side it looks absolutely sick they are going in on these Germans but the Germans with their reinforcements are holding off a lot better I'd say on the right side they're holding off the best of all but on the left they are getting trampled a little bit here are actually the attack banners going in all the way and whacking some of these boys with their banners that's actually kind of funny I haven't seen that before the, the, the banners actually going ahead of the rest of the army entirely all right so the Germans on this side of the match have almost completely died, uh, but in the hay field over here, they're doing way better. They've almost eliminated all of the American soldiers over on the left side over here, uh, but the right side is going to still be a challenge from now on, I think. Let's see if the Germans got what, uh, what they got. Let's see what they got. I don't know. Words are hard right now. My mouth, it doesn't speak good. <laughs> yeah, the Germans, I think, do have the L here. That was Smallhead! Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's lost in the fields forever. Smallhead, no! Oh, there he is. Wait, is that him? Smallhead? <gasps> Smallhead! He has the smallest head in the galaxy. And uh, his friend back here, while I was looking at Smallhead, got shot in the shoulder. Absolute F right there in the chat, boys. Absolute F. So, this was some trench warfare from World War One. I. I thought this was a really fun idea, and I, I think it, it turned out pretty well. Of course, in tabs, you get some derpiness behind it, which is all the better in my eyes. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed Make sure to comment down below any tabs ideas that you've got for the next video and let me know how you enjoyed this tabs video. Subscribe if you have not already. As you guys know, we're trying to hit 250k by the end of 2020 and be sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. Additionally, if you want to support me on Patreon, link in the description below. Either way, guys, I hope you're all staying safe out there, getting amped up for the holiday season, baby. Uh, let me know how that all goes for you. You know, how's your Christmas shopping going? I know I finished mine up recently. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys are having a good one. Stay safe out there. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.